hello! Welcome back to Hands On with BLG. I'm BLG. I am Lefty. <laughs> I am Righty. <laughs> and, uh, as you know, we're looking for a, uh, a used truck, SUV kind of thing. Something that's high enough and good enough uh, and affordable enough to pull the boat. But I thought I would take you on a little reminiscent of some of the vehicles I had and, and my stock car and stuff. Um, the ex-old lady ruined my Corvette pictures. She burned them or something. Mm. But I do have one surviving Corvette picture. It's not very clear, but you'll see. But here's uh, my first bagger. Not my first Harley. But here we go. I'll explain as we go. My first stock car that I built, I built three of these in my day but all that stuff here is my Cadillac that I told you I had let's see if we can get a good picture of it there's my Cadillac 1984 oh fuck yeah I loved that car it was really cool and it rode like a dream folks it had the uh, um, it had the uh, aluminum block uh, motor in it and I drove that thing to death, basically. Um, Indiana, um, Iowa, um, Michigan, all over Illinois. I drove that car to death, basically, but I loved it. And as you can see, <laughs> I lowered that Cadillac two inches. Nice! It rode like a dream. And I tell you what, that, that the fucking aluminum block... Uh, you get up to 70 miles an hour. I hit cruise control. That thing would get about like 28 miles to 30 miles a gallon at 70 miles an hour. It would just momentum carry down the road. Uh, my first bagger. Not my first Harley. Not my first motorcycle. No, no, no. <laughs> but my first bagger is a 1988 Harley Davidson FLHTC full bagger. That is that bike. That's me, skinny me, and young me. Do you see this guy right there? <laughs> That's KLG. That's the booger man. He's like, um, four months old at the time. <laughs> Very nice. I also, in the garage, had a um, 1982 Sportster, and I had a 1970 something or other. Honda CB750. I had a 650 Yamaha. They all ran. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the Corvette that you don't believe I had. This is the best picture I have. The ex old lady was a fucking demon bitch she turned out to be and ruined all my other good pictures of my Corvette. This is all I had. We were in Quincy, Illinois. Me and Louie working on a, a fire protection system at a uh, Bell Telephone Company relay station. That's where I smashed the end of this finger off. That week is where I smashed that off. 72 stitches to put that bitch back on. They wasted their time. But here's my Corvette. Proof that I did have this Corvette. It was raining that day and foggy. As you can see, there's a bridge right there. That separates us from, I believe... Indiana or Iowa, one of the two, Quincy, Illinois. But that is my Corvette right there. Um, candy apple flip flop blue, <laughs> which means as you went under the lights and stuff, it would rainbow effect, sparkle, change colors. Uh, gold mirrored T tops, everything under the engine was chrome, you know, under the, under the hood. <laughs> it was a lot of maintenance. This car sat. Uh, pretty much on jacks most of the time I had it and got it done every Friday during the summer I would take it off the jacks and I would drive it to we had a hot rod show at an old uh, drive-in burger place we would go to that and I would show the car and I would uh, drive it back home put it back in the garage not on jacks Saturday night was either playing out in the band or band practice. I would drive it to that. 
Uh, Sunday morning, it went right back up on jack stands. It was just one of those things. It just had too much into it to really enjoy it, but it was fun. <laughs> so anyway, stock cars. Yeah, I keep talking about stock cars. Here is some old pictures of me building my first stock car in a race shop. I became a th third, one, two, three, a three, third partner in owning a race shop. Here is my 1982 Monte Carlo. I bought it for um, 300 bucks. No motor, had full tail lights, interior, all that stuff. Everything was in it. No motor, no transmission. Here is me gutting it, right here. <laughs> Hopefully you can see. There you go. Here, yeah. Here's me gutting the car. <laughs> the inside's coming out and stuff. There is where I cut the trunk out for the fuel cell, right there. There, this is one of my trucks right here. Uh. That I traded this Corvette and uh, an old worn out. Um, um, I can't remember what it was called. Another old worn out truck. Um, but I, I traded that and the Corvette. Uh, let me think. I gotta think about that. What the hell was that? Trooper. Oh, yeah. I traded. Here we go. Here we go. Right here, BLG. I traded for this truck right here. I traded the Corvette. And I traded a uh, an Isuzu Trooper um, that had high mileage on it that I also drove to Michigan, Iowa, Indiana, um, Missouri, <laughs> all that stuff. Illinois, all over the place. And uh, Wisconsin, it was all right. I traded the Corvette and uh, the Isuzu Trooper for this truck, which was badass. That, my friends, was a brand new Chevy half ton short bed. Um, all basic, uh, four speed manual transmission, basic inside radio. But it accidentally, somebody at the factory put a Silverado package on it. Well, the car dealer knew my car from the car shows, and he wanted it, the Corvette. So, uh, $4,000 difference, I got a brand new fucking truck. I welded a, uh, Ford, uh, a Ford reach hitch under it, and I actually ended up putting a, uh, cutting down and mounting a Dodge Ram three inch roll bar into it <laughs> yeah it was kinda cool here's all the crap this car from here <laughs> here's all the crap I jerked out of that car in the back of the same truck this truck right chop getting ready to go to the fucking landfill sold it off as junk here's the car all set and ready to go ready for the roof to be cut off and uh Wait for wait for me to cut the roof off and drop a roll cage into it. Here is the roll cage I built for it. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it was certified. <laughs> yes, I drove on the NASCAR uh, dirt track uh, circuit. So yeah, there you go. Got that roll cage in. Got it, got it all put together. Here's me all skinny and stuff, and you can see right there is the booger man. <clears throat> getting ready to roll nice this is in the first year of 1998 but there it is ready to roll and then I crashed big fucking crash I'll try to get a picture of that I think I got not a picture but a video I can get a picture from wow did I get in a crash the the, the whole front end um, this is stock uh, front end headlight mounts and all that shit and fenders and all everything but the front hood came over the top of the fucking car and everything pretty much yeah it destroyed that car <laughs> it pushed the water pump slightly into the block <laughs> the radiator wrapped around the engine I hit that hard so here it is after the crash back in the shop I crashed on Saturday this is Sunday morning right here's what's left of it after we cut it up on Sunday morning the fender and all that stuff then, here is what the hood 
looked like when we took it off. <laughs> That's not what a hood should look like. Wednesday morning, car looked like this. I worked on my ass off every fucking night, trading and banging and replacing parts. I made it look like that. This is Wednesday. We raced on Saturdays. Here is the car from a different angle, same day, Wednesday. This fender, that is not from a Monte Carlo. That is the 1982 Chrysler LeBaron fender I put on it. Yeah, <laughs> need fenders. Here I am back on the track hauling ass. As you can see, I didn't feel like putting the teeth back in it. But there's me leading one lap of a race hauling ass on the track taken by the track officials. And then I sold the car, and I made it the number six for the guy that bought it for me, the trailer, and the car. And uh, I painted it blue and made it the number six for him. Pretty cool. And uh, got into demolition derby during the same time. This is our first demolition derby build. Yep, it's like a 1981 station wagon, Chevy station wagon or something. We built that. And as you can see, we were Tiger Built Racing. But, uh, yeah, we built that. Uh, I drove it the first night, and I didn't place, but the car survived. The second night we went back, this was at the county fair, and uh, uh, the guy that brought the car actually drove it. And stuck, as you can see, on the guardrail as other cars are still going. Ended up in third, got 250 bucks. Guess where that went? <laughs> beer tent. And Jerry Lee Lewis was playing in the beer tent that night, so that was a good day. So that's all the cars and stuff, <laughs> and, and bikes and whatnots. Oh, if you want to see the monster truck, this is when it was born. I got stuck in the river. I blew a tire off. This is all sand, by the way, and the water was over the top of the fucking truck. <laughs> that's why all my KC lights that I put on and stuff are all gone and they threw a brick through my window that window's gone they threw a brick through it and stole my stereo and the speakers and all my lights and wiring while it was underwater they tied up in a boat <laughs> to my rear view mirror right there <laughs> that is my brother Jungle's uh, 1948 Willie's Jeep? Something like that. That's his Willie's Jeep. I can't remember the year. Two, 42, I think, maybe? Willie's Jeep. When we first met. And he came down to see the stuck. Got pulled out by a deuce and a half eventually. <laughs> but yeah, that's the truck that became 11 feet, 4 inches tall to the roof with 54 inch tires and 1,250 horsepower. Uh, I didn't ever get stuck in that truck again. <laughs> That is the opening for now, and uh, tomorrow, in the next video, me and LAG the Mama are going to go cruise the lots and the streets and see if we can find something that's going to work for us, and uh, we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Please hit the likes and subscribe if you don't mind, and uh, till the next video, folks, you know what to do, right? For hands on with Bill G, I am Bill G. Well, I mean, I'm lefty, <laughs> I'm righty, and uh, stay safe, take care, all that good stuff, and hot rod the fuck out, and just do what you gotta do in life. We got this done, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, right? Oh, and I have an idea for cooking again that I can't find anything on. Boy, did I come up with an idea yesterday. Uh, I gotta test it tonight, and if it comes out that it works, I'll do it for you guys. So, anyways. <laughs> peace out, people. Just peace out. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, a re. Hands on with BLG. <laughs>
Stick around and learn from me.